Hello, in this video we are going to discuss about interfacing photodiode with Arduino. For that, I used a simulation software called uh, Tinkercad and in that we need to click on circuit and select on create new circuit. Upon selecting that option, we will get an open workspace along with competence list. We have to search for Arduino in the competence list and drag it into the workspace. Similarly, we need a breadboard for connecting all the components. So we have to search for breadboard and drag it into the workspace. It would be easier to adjust the dragged components, especially while giving connections between the components. So I'm adjusting the components on the workspace to avoid such confusions. Now all we need is a photodiode. So let's drag the photodiode onto the breadboard and it is set. A photodiode is a semiconductor device that converts light into an electric current. The current is generated when photons are absorbed into the diode. So when there is instant light, the resistance of diode decreases and then the current is produced. This is the working principle of photodiode. Coming to the connections, the cathode terminal of sensor is connected to the ground port of Arduino. And a resistor is dragged onto the breadboard because resistor prevents the excessive amount of current flowing through the diode and the diode won't be damaged. I am changing the resistor value to 220 ohms and let's connect the other terminal of resistor to one of the analog pins of Arduino that is A0. The connection is given and let's change the color of white to blue in order to prevent confusion. To program our Arduino we need to click on the code option, select text, click continue. The simulation software provides a default code. We can just erase it and replace it with our own code. And this is our code. We can, uh, as you can see, sensor pin is given as A0 because in the diagram it is connected to A0 pin of Arduino. Sensor value is initially set to 0. And the sensor pin is given as input to the Arduino. The Arduino reads the sensor values by using a command called analog read. The sensor values can be absorbed in serial monitor. And let's start the simulation to observe the values. As you can see initially it is zero. And when you increase the light intensity on the diode, you can observe the changes in the sensor values. Let's increase and decrease the light intensity. And you can see the changes in the sensor values in serial monitor as well. This is how the code works and thank you for watching this video.